think of China, tea may be one of the things that comes to mind, but sales of the hot drink have been dropping in the country as younger people opt for other refreshments. Now, some entrepreneurs are trying to change that by making an ancient tradition more suited to modern tastes. Michelle Vandenberg has the story. Chinese people are believed to have enjoyed tea drinking for more than 4,000 years. Tea drinking can be artistic, medicinal, it can even be used for fortune telling. China is the world's largest tea producer. With all the health benefits and cultural traditions, what will be the news channels to make tea drinking hot, trendy and suitable for modern lifestyles again? Wang Qing from China's Tea Marketing Association says that fast-brewing capsules and modern tea shops might be the answer. Uh, we're all thinking about how to increase tea consumption. One is innovation in our products, which include more fast-brewing tea capsules to tailor to the busy working population, and also more flavored tea with fruits and flowers, and tea combining with milk, sugar, or even alcohol served both cold and hot. Many modern tea shops have emerged in recent years. Pap's Tea is one of them. Its owner, Martin Papp, says that a little survey he did in coffee shops suggested that many young Chinese sitting in coffee shops actually prefer to drink tea. So he decided to start a tea shop combining traditional teas with modern cafe experience, targeting the younger consumer group. What's interesting is that when I'm in China, we're all thinking, oh, we should be drinking tea, we should be drinking tea, but instead we go to coffee shops. When I'm in the U.S., one of the really cool things to do now is to go to these new modern tea houses you know, uh, that, that have been popping up in the United States because people want to be healthy. They want to drink, they want to drink really uh, great tea. The newest trend can also come from the oldest traditions. That's Anvita Tea House, an English afternoon tea shop, also trying to provide a different tea experience to the younger Chinese. We want to provide a relaxing experience in people's busy lives. The key to English afternoon tea is well-decorated rooms with good tea served in the best china and shared with one's best friends. In the Internet age, there are fewer and fewer businesses that focus on the experience. That's what we're trying to do. A century-old tradition in one country can be a modern cultural phenomenon in another country. With beautiful flowers, freshly baked pastries, tea drinking can be so much more than just tea. Michelle Vandenberg, CCTV, Beijing.